Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 38. Inside this video session guys, we are going to show my account links to our menu. Now if I back to browser, so as we can see here, first of all, let's hide about the admin bar. So if I delete this element from this DOM, so now as we can see that we already have a my account link inside this menu. But remember, this is the menu actually we haven't created manually or via our code. This is the WooCommerce page what we have dragged and dropped inside this menu list. Now if we go here, click on appearance, go to menus, and let's delete this page from here because this is by default WooCommerce created page. So I'm to remove this like page from this menu list. Save menu. Go and reload this page. Remove this admin bar from here. And as we can see that there is no more my account link page. So we want to create because this is WooCommerce custom theme development. So that's why we want to develop actually my account page our own. So what is the functionality of my account page? My account page gives us the login as well as registration as well as dashboard linkings. It means if suppose new customers comes into our store, then by clicking on my account, it will give a login or let's say a dashboard page means my account the name itself clears that after login it will become a dashboard page but a new customer comes into our store then that button actually converted into a login and registration like after login we will have a my account page and with my account we will have a logout button so after pressing logout button the customer will be redirected on the same page with the login and registration page let's see all the discussions in action now if i back to editor in the last video this is the cart icon what we have added as we can see here Let's see that when we add one more product into it, the cart is now incremented by one. This is the functionality what we have done inside last video. Now inside here, let's add another anchor tag something. Here, let's say that simply my account page. Now here inside this, let's say href. Now we want to get, let's say that we want to get all about my account page URL. This is the URL actually as we know that WordPress by default creates this page but we don't want to this drag and drop here. Programmatically by using WooCommerce function or WooCommerce keys we want to access this page or the URL of this page to our code. Inside this anchor tag let's say that echo we are going to use the WordPress function called permalink. Inside this get permalink, we are going to use another function called get option because WordPress save our my account page URLs, all the page URLs into our WP options table. So that's why we are using get option. Inside this, we need to pass a key. By the help of that key, it will find inside WP options table and return that page ID URL. So we want my account page ID. So let's say that WooCommerce underscore account underscore page ID. Now if we save this change, back to browser, reload this page. And if we delete this admin bar from header, delete this and as we can see that this time we will have a my account link. We want some spacing here and also if you hover on this link what we have created and I think that it is not returning about the correct URL of my account page. So some mistake inside this key. And this is WooCommerce account page ID. We want something my account page ID. This is the key we need to look. 
so if we save and reload this page and remove this like admin bar from header and if you hover on this my account so let's inspect that now as we can see that we are getting the correct URL of my account page so currently as we know that we are logged in so when we click on this my account so great we are getting all the dashboard links this is the user logged in so that's why it will it can sue about dashboard orders download addresses and so on but let's say that when we press logout button from here now still we are seeing my account page which is not making any sense inside this we need to show the buttons or the link something login or register so first of all let's make this anchor tag it's not a simple anchor tag actually we need to make a button so let's say class btn btn primary i need to convert it go and reload this page and this is my account and also inside this cart let's say that margin left 10 pixel save and reload so this is my account and card but remember this time we have logged in so we need to make either here login or registration link it's because my account is seems to be like the dashboard url so if we go here and in between this anchor tag what we have created we are going to implement all about checking user is logged in or not so let's say that if we have a function called is user logged in it will going to return all about the true and false value so let's say that if it is going to return all about let's say here and if So let's say that if this is user logged in function is going to return value means return true value it means user is logged in. So while getting logged in we are going to show this link like my account otherwise if it is going to return false value then here I am to define a else block so let's say that php else and inside this we are going to show let's say login or registration page so what i will do let's define an anchor tag here we will have let's say class btn btn primary login forward slash let's register and inside this inside this href we are going to call the same functions what we have used something called echo get permalink and inside this we are going to use let's say get option if i toggle word wrap for this page so here get permalink get option and inside this we are going to pass the woocommerce my account page id so woocommerce my account page id so if we save all these changes back to browser and as we know that this time we are currently not logged in it means it is going to return all about the false value so it is going to show login and registration so go and reload this page now as we can see that we have a login registration url so when we click on this button it will go on the same URL but this time we have now login and registration URL but inside this form we are currently saying only all about the login page there is no option to actually register new users wait for a while WooCommerce supports a registration form from a settings it means WooCommerce allow or disallow that is we are interested to create the new user accounts from you end users via a form or we can restrict that what I mean 
if we go inside admin panel and first of all let's log in to our admin dashboard and inside here go to WooCommerce settings inside this accounts and privacy inside here we have checkboxes like allow customers to create an account on the my account page we want that the new customers will register itself via my account page so we need to check that also we have options that is allow customers to create an account during checkout we can click either click on that and allow but this time in this case we are going to check this and finally we are going to click on this save changes go and reload this and here if we remove this like the links from admin bar so remove this admin bar so here if we click on this my account it will go and show this dashboard pages let's say that we also want a logout page like logout button here so what i will do go inside this as we know that this is the block for user logged in so inside this case what i will do copy and paste and here let's say that log out and this time we are going to make let's say btn btn denture and instead of using get permalink get option i'm going to use let's say a wordpress function that is wp logout url so if i cut all these things from here let's use wp logout url this is a wordpress function it's not a WooCommerce function, it's a WordPress function. So simply, it is going to return like logout URL. While clicking on that logout URL, it will redirect on a that dashboard page. But let's say that we want to actually redirect on the user-defined page. Let's say that we want to redirect on the shop page, on the checkout page, or any of the way we need to pass the value inside this parenthesis. So let's say that after logout, we want to redirect user on this my account page. So what I will do, as we can see that if we want to redirect the user onto our my account page, this is the way to use let's say get permalink, get option and here is the key we need to use that. So inside this WP logout URL, we need to use get permalink inside this we need to use get option and inside this we need to pass the option key something called WooCommerce my account page ID now if we save this change go and reload this page and as we can see that now this time we will have a logout button so let's say that I am adding some styles so let's say margin left equal to 10 pixel now save this change go and reload this url and if i remove this admin bar from header let's say that this time we are currently logged in so that's why we are getting my account logout and the card but when we click on this logout it is going to log out of the user and redirect on the same page so click on logout and as we can see that currently we are now logged out into this page and inside this page we will have this login as well as register page remember this register page we have enabled from our WooCommerce accounts and privacy settings otherwise this form is missing so let's register a new user from this form let's check that if it is working or not so i am putting a dummy email address which is not registered yet inside this woocommerce site click on register and as we can see that successfully we are now registered inside this we are getting all the dashboards links let's say my account logout cart is zero and all of the rest urls but actually if we want to click on this logout it will go and redirect on this login and registration page now excellent 
we have now integrated all about this login and registration page into our WooCommerce site. So successfully guys inside this video we have completed our main concern that is my account page instead of drag and drop our my account page from the WooCommerce like settings. In the previously what we did if I logged in inside this admin panel in the previous we have simply dragged and dropped our my account page into this menus but this time we have now in the proper way we have created our own inside this and one more thing before closing this video that is if suppose WooCommerce is plugin is not activated then this code will give error because inside this code we have used all about these IDs and these IDs return in case of WooCommerce plugin is activated. So first of all, while running this code or integrating inside this header.php, we need to first check that our WooCommerce plugin has been activated or not. If it will not, then in that case, we are not going to execute this code. So how, I, how actually we can do? Simply, we need to check about the WooCommerce class. So let's say if class exists, let's say WooCommerce, And if this class exists, it means WooCommerce plugin is activated. And simply here, let's say end if, what I will do, I'm going to cut this whole code like our my account all about this cart and pasting it here. Because in this cart, in the last videos, also we have used some features of WooCommerce as we can see here. So if suppose our plugin has not been activated then this code is going to give some errors related with WooCommerce. Now if you save all these changes, go and reload this page, now it is working. So successfully guys inside this video we have now completed all about showing our my account links to our menus. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.